not the same. Proverbs 18. A man that hath friends must show himself friendly. What's that mean? If you want to have a lot of friends, then be friendly. NIV. A man of many companions may come to ruin. Are these saying the same thing? Am I missing something here? If you got a lot of friends, you'll be ruined? <laughs> That's what it says. That's not at all correct. The Bible says in Matthew 7 that narrow is the way. Straight is the gate and narrow the way that leadeth to life. And few there be that find it. Revised Standard says the gate is narrow and the way is hard. Wait, is it hard to go to heaven or just not many do it? Now they use the these and the thous and there's a reason for that and then we'll go on to another subject here. Um, if a word starts with Y, it is plural. Ye, your, etc. Okay? If it starts with T, it is singular and there's an important reason. Nobody in 1611 was walking down the street saying, how art thou today? They weren't using that. But the King James translators wisely chose to use the these and the thous because of the distinction. If I walk into a room and say, you come with me, does that mean one of you or all of you? You can't tell. But if you use thee and thou, you can tell. You can see in John chapter 3 very clearly. Jesus said to Nicodemus, marvel not that I said unto thee, singular, ye must be born again. He changed it to plural. I'm telling you that everybody must be born again. That's a really important distinction. Otherwise, he'd be saying, Nicodemus, I'm telling you that you've got to be born again. Well, how does that apply to Kent Hoban? It wouldn't apply. The fact is, it's very precise in the King James. So we can talk all day about that. We'll cover more in our college class. I think the whole concept you need to get in your head is, God promised he would preserve his word, so where is it? I would like to hold a copy of it. And after 30-some years, I was slowly dragged, kicking and screaming, screaming into the King James camp. God preserved his word for in English, and we've got it. A couple of verses really attract my attention because of my, speak, my speaking on creation all the time. Ephesians chapter 3 and verse 9. King James says, To make all men see what is the mystery, the fellowship of the mystery, which from the beginning of the world hath been hid in God, who created all things by Jesus Christ. Amen. There are two important phrases here. It says, from the beginning of the world. That's a definite time. He created things by Jesus Christ. Colossians 1 says the same thing. Jesus created all things. Jesus is God in the flesh. Well, a lot of these new Bible versions uh, come from the Alexandrian, and they did not believe Jesus was God in the flesh. And they, bookstores, of course, want to sell lots of Bibles, love of money, root of all evil, and they don't want to offend anybody. So, hey, let's sell a Bible version that doesn't offend people. So look what they did with Ephesians 3.9. Which for ages past was kept hidden in God who created all things. But they left off Jesus. You don't want to offend people, you know. And they made it ages past instead of from the beginning. Nearly all the new Bible versions have changed it to say ages, ages, ages. And they leave off Jesus in every case, except for the new King James. They left Jesus in there, but they still call it ages past. That's the only one I could find that left Jesus in there, but they all changed it to ages. They don't want to get this definite six-day, you know, young earth creationist because they might offend people and, again, lose money. Now, we could spend hours on different um, problems with these verses. The last one that bothers me is... Is it the first day in Genesis 1-5, or is it one day? Every version that I found says one day. King James says the first day. Why would they change it to one day? Well, again, they're trying to allow for the long periods of time. And I don't understand how somebody can read Genesis 1-5 and still believe there's a gap between verse 1 and 2 of any amount of time. More than an hour. The first day. It couldn't be more clear in my mind.